Hi, welcome back. We shall continue on our discussion on nozzle. So in the previous video, we have gone through the brief introduction of nozzle and for today's video, we will look at the exhaust gas flow. The gas from the engine turbine enters the exhaust system at a high velocities. It's between 750 to 1200 feet per second. But because velocities at this order produce high friction losses, the speed of the flow is decreased by diffusion. Okay, and this is accomplished by having an increasing passage area between the exhaust cone and the outer wall. So the cone also prevents the exhaust gases from flowing across the rear face of the turbine disc. So you don't want that to happen. Okay, and it is usually to hold the velocity at the exhaust unit outlet to a Mach number of 0.5. This is about approximately 950 feet per second. Additional losses occur due to the residual whirl velocity in the gas stream from the turbine. And to reduce these losses, the turbine rear struts in the exhaust unit are normally designed to straighten out the flow before the gas pass into the jet pipe. So the exhaust gas pass to the atmosphere through the propelling nozzle, which is a convergent duct, and thus increasing the gas velocity. So in a turbojet engine, the exit velocity of the exhaust gases is at subsonic, low thrust conditions only. During most operation conditions, the exit velocity reaches the speed of sound in relation to the exhaust gas temperature and the propelling nozzle is then said to be choked, means that there is, there is no further increase in velocity can be obtained unless temperature is increased. So as the upstream total pressure is increased, Above the value at which the propelling nozzle becomes choke, the static pressure, okay, the P static, okay, P static of the gases and exit, exit increases above the atmospheric pressure. So this is above the atmospheric pressure. So this pressure difference across the propelling nozzle gives what is known as the pressure thrust. So we have the pressure thrust and is effective over the nozzle exit area. So this additional thrust to that obtained due to the momentum change of the gas stream. With the convergent type of nozzle, a wastage of energy occurs since the gases leaving the exit do not expand rapidly enough to immediately achieve outside pressure. Depending on the aircraft flight plan, some high pressure engines can with advantage use a convergent and divergent nozzle to recover some of the wasted energy. So this nozzle utilizes the pressure energy to obtain a further increase in gas velocity and consequently an increase in thrust. So from this illustration of figure 6.3, it will be seen that the conversion convergence section exit now becomes the, the throat at this particular area. Okay, with the exit proper now being at the end of the flood divergent section. So this figure shows the gas flow through a convergent divergent nozzle. So 
you this is the uh, the flow is coming from this side left hand side going into the tailpipe we have the convergence section and then the divergent section where net thrust on the nozzle wall happened there if you look at the uh, pressure distribution and velocity distribution from left hand side to the right hand side so the static pressure will drop to the close to the atmosphere okay and the velocity increase we shall continue on the following video to complete the explanation on the exhaust gas flow thank you very much bye bye for now